Hi, I'm Claire Wasey and I'm a personal stylist and today I'm going to give you some great style tips. For anything you don't find in these videos, go to my website and check out all the tips I have there. Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about how to dress semi-formal or as I like to call it, smart casual. What's really important with smart casual is to take elements of your smart clothing and mix it with your casual clothing and vice versa. So really what it's saying as a rule is it's not overdressed but it's also really important not to be underdressed. Um, first look that I'm going to talk to you about is this one that I've put here on the mannequin. I've taken a really formal shirt or blouse shape um, with a really nice pussy bow detailing and to make it less formal I've popped on a really nice knit um, which then exaggerates the sleeve but also it kind of shows off the best parts of the uh, blouse but it also makes it less formal. Now what I would do with that if I was taking it into a more formal situation I would add for example a really nice wide leg trouser but this is a really really formal look so to make it more smart casual I would change up the trouser for a jean option which just then is mixing in your casual wardrobe with your smart wardrobe to create a really nice smart casual look. Another way of dressing this, just this top section, would be to add a pencil skirt and maybe a boot or a skirt and a boot shape because the boot would take it from being formal to a slightly less formal look. Uh, another option, keep adding all these options, is for example if you're going for something a bit more youthful is to do a really nice knit, a knee-high boot and then a short option. Um, it just takes that kind of formality out of it and makes it much more of a trend look. So really it's important to mix your casual and your formal wardrobe. So think about your jacket shape. This is a great blazer shape. Now you would usually, for a, a more formal situation, wear for example that smart trouser again. It's a fantastic idea, but it actually feels very, very formal. So instead of putting, for example, a blouse underneath, why don't you just go for something simple like a t-shirt top? So a really simple outfit underneath but your formality is coming from that really nice jacket shape and also it gives you a blank canvas underneath so you can really accessorise that look with maybe just some oversized pearls or a really nice long statement necklace which just brings those like two worlds together and combines them really nicely. Another idea is for example to take that idea of that basic t-shirt top that you might wear on a weekend with your jeans. Really simple, easy look. But to make it more smart casual, add it with a trouser, for example, this nice wide leg, goes a bit different to the cigarette pant. And then maybe think about layering on top of it. So you could use, for example, this sleeveless blouse top with a cowl neck, it's really nice and casual. But with the wide leg trousers tucked in, makes it a real statement and a really fantastic outfit. Another way of dressing this t-shirt up or down is to perhaps pop a nice little waistcoat over the top so it's cinching your body in, adds that formality to a simple long sleeve t-shirt. So you've taken that long sleeve t-shirt from your weekend hanging out in your jeans and taking it into a much more formal look. Another option is to take a simple dress shape. This is a shift dress. Now to make it really, really formal, you'd put a really nice shoe, fantastic handbag, really go over, over the top with your accessories. But what we can do is again, take that t-shirt, pop it underneath, instantly makes it less smart. Um, still add your statement belt if you want to in the middle and then bring in a fun shoe or boot which makes it much less formal and into that smart casual vibe. Or add on that chunky knit that we talked about earlier. So add that knit over the top of a really nice classic shift dress and the knit instantly takes it down a notch so it creates that smart casual. Or you can add in your outside jacket. So this really nice simple leather jacket just dresses down a formal dress shape really easily. Alternatively, use your outerwear. You know, fantastic winter coat. Um, bring it into your wardrobe, so just add it to that, for example, um, this one here, forgot where it was. Um, that pussy bow blouse is really, really smart on its own. If I just undo this here, we can see it's a really classic shape. Pop the jacket or the knit over the top of it and it just adds a bit of colour to make it more interesting, but also means that you can put a slightly more casual trouser with it, but add that formality still. So the important thing to remember, smart casual, it's mixing your smart wardrobe with your casual wardrobe, so your weekend wear with your work wear for example. And it's really about getting that mix 
just right. So if you're going really formal with your clothes, think about your accessories to dress that look down. So go for maybe a more fashion accessory rather than a classic pearl. If you're trying to dress something up, for example from your weekend wardrobe, go for that more classic accessory option just to make things feel smarter and a little bit more luxurious. Enjoy dressing smart casually. Thanks.